you know, think about these as ordered pairs, a comma b, c comma d. So a comma b is related to c comma d if and only if, what can you say about the entries of the ordered pairs? A no. A D equals B C, right? Well, like that's cross multiplying, right? So let's look at a little example of this. So one slash two is equivalent to two slash four because what? One times four is equal to two times two, right? And in fact, one slash two is equivalent to A slash B if and only if what is true? No. Okay. We don't know this. These are fractions yet. <laughs> Suspend your like knowledge. If yeah, if b equals two a, let's move it around so it's b equals two a. So if the denominator, there we go, is twice the numerator. So for example, what is the equivalence class of three slash five? Yeah. So well, let's like three slash five. What's the next one? Yeah, 6 slash 10. What's the next one? 9 slash 15. Is this allowed to be negative? Uh, no, 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 because we're not allowing the denominator to be negative. The denominator to be negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, there is a, there is a s construction here where we could take the denominator to be just like all non-zero non integers, right? And then you could have minus 3 over minus 5, but... I kind of think it's a little cleaner to do it like this. And then I guess the next one would be what? 12 slash 20. 